Nosy Bird and welcome back to Dragon Ball Fighters. And today we're gonna be continuing on with the Enemy Warrior Arc or whatever it was called. Of course, we started our journey last episode. Definitely go check it out because we had Frieza as a character. We just unlocked Nappa, so we'll be trying him out for the first time today in Chapter Three, Map Two. The plot thickens. Road to reviving Frieza, and we'll be making our way over to restore. Uh, What's his name? We'll be uh, restoring Captain Ginyu here, which will be super duper exciting. For now though, let's go ahead and do this battle against Tien and Yamchen, the clone versions, but still, Tien and Yamchen. I wonder if we'll be going against clone versions of ourselves eventually, I would have to imagine that's the case. Because of course we won through clone versions of ourselves and enemies in the Super Warrior arc, so here in the Enemy Warrior arc, I'd imagine we'd be going against clone versions of everybody just to keep it fresh. It's all but we're at the World Tournament. You know what cool would be if they had like a Dragon Ball Super World Tournament at Earth, and I had like freezes and stuff, I guess I mean it wouldn't really be all that much different than the World Tournament they already have. Um, I know, like, I, once again, if you guys don't know where I am at with Super, I've seen this, you know, the, the tournament between, ouch, uh, uh, Universe 6 and Universe 7, so basically Beerus and Champa. Man, this is difficult. I actually need to play well. Actually, let's get Nap in here. Let's see how well he does. Um. So we have arm break. Wow, okay. And then we could, if we could head back here a little bit, throw in a Cyberman. Oh, that is so cool. And then the Cyberman literally just sits here and helps us in battle, which I guess is supposed to make up for the fact that Nappa seems to move really gosh darn slow. Is it Cyberman still out here? I guess not, that would have been nice. Um, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Let's check out some of his other moves here. We have Break Cannon, which consumes three gauges, and he has Giant Storm, and then Too Bad. Hold the charge, ooh. Hmm. Okay, he doesn't have too many moves. Can you control the Cybermen? Wow, okay. That was, what was that? That was the, that was the uh, Giant Storm right there. And then we have Break Cannon for three gauges. I'll try to charge that up here, um, and then here we go, here we go. Whoa, I missed. Oh no, that's how it works. Okay, hold on, hold on. Don't beat me up too much because I'm gonna try to charge up all the way to three and then, here we go, here we go. Ready, boom! Whoa, that was just a little punch. And then, oh my gosh, I forgot he had a move where he just has an energy blast from his mouth. That is so cool. Awesome. Nappa is really cool so far. Frieza finally gets his level 17 level up. That's also very cool. Hopefully we can continue these characters to level 20. Maybe we can get some Link events there. But man, that is really awesome. Okay, so we make our way up here. As you can see, we have a clone Nappa battle. So hopefully we can get some cool info or maybe just like a cutscene from Nappa here. That'd be fun. Uh, let's find out. Yeah, okay. What's this gonna be? So there's somebody in this world that looks just like me, huh? Kinda creepy. <laughs> Does he realize it's a clone? Whoever created this good-for-nothing wannabe won't get away with it. Okay, yes he does. After taking care of this guy, I'm gonna hunt down its maker and make him wish they'd never been born. Actually, this being my clone and all, could make things kind of fun. <sighs> Time to show you how powerful the real deal is. I really like that. You know, I, I I remember when they first revealed Nappa as a playable character, a couple people got really upset, saying that like it was sort of a boring choice compared to what you could have done. Like all the awesome bad guys in DBZ, you choose Nappa. I mean, Nappa is pretty cool given the idea that he's on the same level as everybody else. The only thing that doesn't really make him all that cool is that he was in a part of Dragon Ball Z where the character's relatively weak compared to what they are now, you know? So it seems like, you know, it makes him give this like, you know, poor image of him being super weak, because at the time, yeah, I guess he sort of was. Um, but, there we go. Boom, that is so cool. But uh, yeah, now that he's on the same level, not only is he a more interesting character, but I feel like that since he didn't really have too much of a time to really show too much personality in Dragon Ball Z, it does sort of leave an open book for them to like sort of write however they want. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. That should land on him. Once again, Nappa's a bigger character, so it is easier to land those kind of things, which is nice. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we got uh, Yamcha going up here, so we might actually throw in uh, Nappa now, trying to mix up some different stuff, because what was the other move I wanted to try? Too bad. Ow, ow, they countered it. Okay, 
So you can like, yeah, you can. Idiot. Pathetic technique. How? I, I gotta. I. I don't really see how it's charging up there, but I guess it is. Um. Anyways, let's go ahead and I'll get de defeated. No, let's not get defeated. Uh, we'll, we'll rush him a little bit, try to get him backed up, and then I'm gonna. How do I do that? There we go. Boom. And got him. Man, that is cool. That is such a cool looking move, and it really hurts too. Like it really takes him out. So I like that idea a lot. Seems really cool. Uh, just the fact that he seems to be this super slow, almost clunky character with a very limited move set. But within that move set, if you can land it, if you can make it work, it hurts. You know, so that's very cool. I'd love to hear if anybody you know watching plays Nappa a lot. Your thoughts on how he plays and all that kind of stuff. Maybe you main him. Yeah, I, I haven't really asked that question too much. If you play this game a lot, you play competitively. Maybe you make your way up the ranks. I think there's a ranked game mode. Um, one thing, what is your rank? How well have you been playing? And what characters do you main? Do you have a main team? What synergies do you usually play? I would love to hear. But uh, now we're going against a uh, clone Ginyun. No cutscene for this, but that's fine. It seems like every character at least has a cutscene versus their own clone. So if we do find a clone Frieza, we'll get a cutscene there. If we unlock Ginyun and then uh, go against clone Ginyun, we'll definitely find one. It seems like clone Ginyun is quite like a common one when it comes to the clones. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I definitely want to go to Golden Freeze if I can, or maybe I shouldn't. Uh, I feel like I need to do Nova Strike a bit more. Nova Strike and Death Ball. Well, Nova Strike is the one where he beefs up, so maybe I'll just do Death Ball. There I go, and oh, it did get him. He actually dodged right into it. But once again, he does not have a destructive finish. It's really weird. Freeze is like the only character that doesn't have the destructive finish circle move. Like the characters, the enemy characters sort of mix up the playstyle a little bit, in a good way. It's just a little bit weird sometimes. Like I'm definitely not very good at these characters, but that's why the difficulty is supposed to be a bit easier. I think they're trying to give us some leeway to get used to it. And that's why I definitely want to try to take on as many battles as I possibly can, because of the fact that uh, it's giving us that sort of opening to do so. You know, help me uh, get a little bit stronger so that if I'm not that great, I'll still be okay. Yeah, we're going against Clone Tien and Clone Trunks, and we'll be also going against Clone Trunks on the other side as well, the next battle, so lots of Clone Trunks to be going against. I'm sure Frieza has some reservations about that. You would think you'd have a cutscene about that because uh, Frieza originally died to Trunks. We all thought that Goku took him out. Not the case, he shows up at the last second on Earth, and then Trunks shows up to start the Android Saga and finishes off Frieza. That was such a cool moment. I'll probably talk about that more once we unlock Trunks and start playing with him. I, I've been mainly to talk about the Revival of F movie, and why I wasn't too impressed with it. It seems like no matter what combo I do between square, triangle, and circle, he just does that same move over and over again. Like, some of them have like different combos depending, but not really him, so don't know what's up with that. Um, there we go, we got you though. Regardless, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the Rev Revival of F movie, why didn't I like it? I mean, there were some cool moments. It was overall a decent movie, but like I, I've said in the past, it was sort of one of those things where I was expecting it to be really awesome, like the Battle of the Gods movie, and it ended up just being okay. And that's sort of really disappointing. My two biggest gripes with the movie, the first one being, I really didn't like the animation style at times. If you really watch it, it has this 2D slash 3D animation, especially during some of the big fights. Some of the actual animation is 3D animated which is fine if it was just fully 3D animated, but if it's a traditional Dragon Ball movie but 3D is sort of sprinkled in, I feel like it just didn't feel like Dragon Ball. I feel like they had a weird budget cut, so they switched to 3D models to save on the hand-drawn animation cost, and that just doesn't make sense to me, because one thing, I know Battle of the Gods did really well. They definitely had the budget to make another movie like that. Battle of the Gods looked fine. Why did they mess with it, you know? I honestly just didn't think it looked good. It felt a little lazy at times, too, because it just didn't feel like incredibly impressive 3D animation, and the jump between 2D and 3D was sometimes pretty seamless, but still, overall, mostly jarring. And I just really didn't like that style, that choice. And I got really annoyed when it came back in the Revival of F Saga in Dragon Ball Super. I mean, not entirely, but you could definitely tell there were some 3D models in there. There was definitely some 3D elements, especially whenever Frieza was standing and there was like a huge amount of enemies behind him. They were all 3D animated. Which, once again, it seems like a decent way to budget cut, but why do you need to budget cut for something like Dragon Ball that should have all the funding in the world at this point? And usually it does, so just, I don't know. All right, wow, that was pretty good. 
I mean, Frieza sort of feels like a different kind of version of Nappa, where he does definitely have like a bigger moveset, but he seems to have a harder to land setup that does a lot of damage down. Anyways, we'll go ahead and lose that. That's not what I wanted. Okay, I feel like I'm trying to do combos and I end up just grabbing him over and over again. But uh, what about Blazing Storm? I don't think I've tried that too much. Uh, I guess that's Blazing Storm. Uh, Ow, ow, ow. Come on, come on. Give me a Cyberman. I think he gave me a Cyberman. Awesome. Good, good, good. And then we will, uh, there we go, out. <laughs> I hit him with that, but it didn't really work too well. Come on, come on. And then we're gonna just go ahead and finish you off with the finisher. Boom. Awesome. We haven't had a destructive finish with this yet, so hopefully we do right now. Yes, we do. Wow, we that looks awesome. That's <sighs> so cool. Nap is the best right now. Okay then, so that should be more experience for the two of these guys. Level up for Nappa. Frieza is almost level 18 as well. Ooh, so close. So very close, he's 20 experience away. Even the easiest of battles would give us that kind of experience. It'd be very interesting if we could go back through the old uh, story missions and play them as all the characters we've unlocked and leveled up, but I know it doesn't work that way. We found that out at the end of the, not last episode, but the episode before that. But yeah, that's a big reason why I don't like a Revival of F the movie, is I didn't like the animation, I felt like that was a little jarring. And then just the story itself, sort of was a little confusing, but hey, more importantly, we got Ginyu and the whole Ginyu squad. The Ginyu Force. Ah, Captain Ginyu, you have returned to life at a most opportune moment. Come along then, you work for me now. He always did. Beware, you little fool. I'll destroy anybody who gets in my way! What? First he forgets to pose, and then he ignores Lord Frieza's direct command? It does seem that you forgot your place under me when you fixed that odd little posing habit of yours. My dear Captain, I'll see to it you remember who follows the orders around here and who will be the one giving them. Hmm, weird. So this obviously is taking place, I think a tiny bit before the Super Warrior arc begins? Probably, I would imagine so. That seems like that's the case, because we haven't run into Goku yet, but we didn't do that until a couple episodes in, so I guess it could be starting around the same time. Regardless, yeah, I don't know why Captain Ginyu is being so opposed, and that's another thing. Who thought about posing? <laughs> it, was that Captain Ginyu saying? So why he, wouldn't he continue to do it? Or maybe it was something Frieza enforced the entire time. And if so, Frieza's a bit of a weirdo. Like, I mean, I know Captain Ginyu is always a weirdo, though. You know, that kind of thing. All right, then. We'll go ahead and rush you, and then right when you think you're, you know, you're ready, that you're home free, now we're gonna bring in Nappa, and then he's gonna start beating you up, too. Okay, hold on, hold on, nope, nope, Nappa's gonna be a bunch of, a bit of a punching bag here. But Ginyu's really cool because he uses the rest of the Ginyu Force in his moveset, which is just very cool. And I'm excited to try that out whenever we unhook him, which will hopefully be right now. Boom, and you're done for, it's the end! Nice. That was really quick. This is his best. Okay, so that'll be level 18 for Frieza. They are making their way up the ranks pretty gosh darn well right now. I'm happy about it. But uh, hopefully now we'll unlock Captain Ginyu. That'll be good. I humbly apologize for defying you, Lord Frieza. I was being manipulated. I promise it won't happen again. Better not. <laughs> Whatever your excuse may be, I cannot accept insurrection in the ranks. However, I'm willing to let it slide just this once, as I am in need of able-bodied fighters. Lord Frieza, do, do you really mean that? I do, but in exchange, I expect you to serve me until your dying breath. Thank you, Lord Frieza. You have my word. I promise I won't let you down again. Listen up. The merciful Lord Frieza has given us a chance to return to his army. Now we will express our eternal joy and gratitude in the form of a dance! You really needn't bother. <laughs> oh, as you wish, my lord. But I wanted to see the dance. Pardon my asking, Lord Frieza. But is it really a good thing they're back to normal? Yes, because now they actually will listen. Seems to me they were better off the way they were before. I see your point. But in my army, all that matters is results. It's true. Nappa's hand is ridiculously large, by the way. He could like high five Frieza and like smush him like a pancake. It's just, it's very silly. 
I, I, I saved Captain Guinea, who is now available from the team edit menu. I will definitely be applying him. Ooh, guess who I see over there. So we got lots more to do in today's episode. We're gonna go ahead and unlock Captain Guinea, who is also level 18. When it comes to our skills here, I think that I don't really need as much as I have here anymore. I'll go ahead and get another experience up then. So we'll just do that for now. Hopefully we start getting more experience ups very soon. That has partial drain level two. This has health recovery. I mean, we'll find out as we go along, because I will still be doing every single battle. So uh, for now, we'll do this one against Trunks and Tien. Finally, we're, we have the upper hand. It's a 3v2, so that's pretty good. I mean, we've had an upper hand a couple times. We just finished taking out Captain Ginyu. That was a 2v1. But now it's sort of more often. Oh. Apologies for the wait, Lord Frieza. The Ginyu Force has assembled. Beautiful. How excellent. I'm expecting great things from you in the Ginyu Force. Thank you, Lord Frieza. Honestly, it is truly an honor to serve you again. Shall I perform my dance of joy to express how delighted I am? If you like, I can perform a special version of the dance. I would love it. <laughs> the dance of joy. Awesome. And it's the special version too. <laughs> that's also excited. No, that's unnecessary. Let's save the dancing for later, shall we? Oh. As you wish. Oh, he's so disappointed. After the matter is resolved, the Ginyu Force and I will perform the most splendid dance for you. I'm looking forward to your recital. <laughs> Listen up. This is our chance to impress Lord Frieza. I want all of you to practice until showtime. You can count on us, Captain Ginyu. Whether it's on the battlefield or off, we'll be sure to dance on Lord Frieza with our moves. All right, men. Now that that's decided, let's show this enemy the might of the Ginyu Force. Ginyu Force, let's go! Yes, yes sir! Ooh! I do wish he'd do something about that eccentric personality of his. <laughs> hey, I mean, if it gets him going, why not? Let him be him. Okay, so it is Frieza Nappa, Captain Ginyu versus Trunks and Tien. I think we got it, but I cannot wait to try Captain Ginyu. I'll definitely be taking a couple moments to fiddle with him because it seems like he has moves that relate to every single Ginyu Force member, which is really cool, especially when we've gone against him and he's used it all in like succession. That's always very cool. I mean, I'd love to hear about your favorite uh, Ginyu Force member. For me, it probably is Jice. I don't know, there's something cool about him being Australian. Either way, we'll go ahead and just, boom. There you go, get you in here. Um, we have strong jersey. I'm just gonna try each move if I can. Ow, <laughs> no, it's not trying it. I gotta charge up some energy, I guess. Um, okay, so yeah, that's just that. Together we are the Ginyu Force. Oh, okay, so there is. Oh, so it's like random. That is so cool. So I can, they're, they're, they're not very good, but I can. That is so cool. I can just constantly do it and get like more of these guys out here. And depending on which one I get. Oh, that's so cool. It seems like a uh, Birder and Jai sort of share a move there, which is pretty cool. But man, that is awesome. So we can just keep doing it over and over and over again. And like keep getting more Ginyu Force members out here. That is awesome. I mean, a lot of the Ginyu Force is pretty cool just because it's a bit different, you know? But uh, we'll just try to check out a couple more things. We don't really have too much more than that. We have Powerful Energy Wave and Body Chain. So another character that doesn't have a huge move set, but it seems to be like his current move set, the current moves he has are very diverse and effective. So we'll do Body Change now, which is away from the opponent. No, an R1 or R2. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, that wasn't right. Uh, why is that not working? Back in R1 or R2. Weird. Um, but it's three energy, right? Yep, three key gauges. No. Why is that not working? Away from the enemy, an R1, body change. Wait, wait, what was the thing that said? Assume, okay, wait. Hold to damage yourself and swap bodies with your opponent. This move cannot be used in story mode. That stinks. Oh, that's really lame. It can't be used in story mode? I mean, I guess it makes sense, but also really weird, why can't it be used in story mode? I mean, maybe I'd have to understand how the, wor the move works a little bit more to understand why it can't be used in that way, but that really, really stinks in my opinion. I was excited to try it out. Anyways, we got the health recovery bonus level two here, and we're just gonna you know, get everybody's experience on up. Very, very good. 
Okay, so interesting we have our three player squad now, which is pretty decent. I am happy to have it. But uh, we'll just keep going on and hopefully we can unlock and save more characters soon. Um, I feel like we were definitely finding characters at a faster rate with the Super Warrior Super Warrior arc. So I do have a feeling that it'll be a smaller roster now, but I'm definitely like super deflated on the whole Captain Ginyu situation. Why can't I use his body change? That would have been awesome. Man. I mean, he has like a smaller move set than Nappa though, which is pretty crazy. But his moves have like good variants, at least the uh, Ginyu Force Assemble move, so that's pretty cool. I thought it would be cool if maybe he had like a finisher where all the Ginyu Force come together for like one super attack, because they never really do that, and you never really see the Ginyu Force fighting together. And I feel like that would have been cool to see, is like they all have like this one super move where they, you know, all together do this like one move, it's super powerful, but we've never seen it just because that, that situation didn't arrive. All right, well, uh, and I messed it up. Well, there's a waste of three energy bars. Boom. Why am I doing it to Tien, who's almost taken out? I don't know. I really can't say which one of my, which one of these three characters is my favorite. I do like Nappa's super moves, but I like Freeze's better. But I don't like his normal attacks all that much. They're very un, unvarietous, and it makes it sort of feel like I'm not doing the right thing. Anyways. Not like it matters too much. We're, we're, like, and I hear Bon Voyage a lot, which is sort of a pain. Anyways, boom! That seems to always go directly for them. So that seems like a really reliable move to use. It's away from them and then R1. So away. Okay, well I don't have enough energy for it now. But uh, I would be able just to, wait. Uh. Oh no, okay, I guess I threw it wrong because I threw it the second he went over me. Unless I'm doing it wrong now, probably. Uh, Nova Strike is back in R1. So I'm right, it just wasn't working. Uh, maybe it needs three energy bars? I don't think that's the case, but I don't know, sometimes like moves, like they just don't work. Am I, yeah, it's not working. I have no clue. Maybe it has like a cooldown. Maybe you can only use it like once. Uh, It doesn't say so. As soon as the character is facing right. Yeah, I know. So if I do the opposite, it should work, but it's not working. So I don't know, there we go, now it's working. It must have like a move cooldown. Like there only must be like a certain amount you can use it before you can't use it anymore for a little bit. I don't know. But uh, we got Yamsha no matter what, so I don't mind. Okay, so there's that done. We got key fill up rate level two, which is pretty cool if I needed it, but we got the level seven there with our key pretty easily, so I'm not really too worried about it at all. Okay, so, uh, what are we up to now? I think we're taking on more opponents with our team at this point. I don't think there's really too much more to do. There has not been a single tutorial though. I've been right about that. We've just been battle after battle. We do get victory experience level up too, finally. I love it. This is gonna be nice and helpful. We're going against a team of three this time. Ooh, okay, we haven't seen Ginyu versus Ginyu or Frieza versus Frieza yet. I'm sure it'll happen eventually, but for now, uh, we get to continue. We've definitely, we have you know only three characters, so if there's any cutscenes to be seen here, we will see them. Obviously, whenever it does the something versus something screen right there, that means it already skipped it over the potential cutscene. I love this, I love this map so much. The background here is really cool. Of course, they sort of had this from, uh, this is sort of the area from Battle of the Gods when Goku and Beerus started fighting on Earth. It'd be cool if there was a King Kai's planet map, I think. I think you can train on King Kai's planet. I don't know if it's the visuals are on King Kai's planet though. I remember when I used to play Dragon Ball Budokai 3, there was a rumor that you could play on King Kai's planet if you unlocked everything, which I don't think ended up being true. But it was just fun to dream as a young zebra. Like, oh, that'd be so cool. You get to play on King Kai's planet. It's like a secret level. I'm pretty sure that wasn't true then. I mean, Dragon Ball Budokai 3 was really fun with that stuff. Of course, it wasn't an online competitive fighting game, so, you know, obviously, I think with this game, if I was to go play online, I'd have every character unlocked. But uh, in the story mode here, I, that's not the case. Obviously, back in the day, it was all about, you know, unlocking characters. That was a big fun of it. All those Dragon Ball games, one of my fondest memories was almost always unlocking all the characters. So, I don't know, it's a little bit different nowadays, but Budokai 3 was really cool with that stuff because it had, you know, hidden characters, you had to play through the story mode a certain way to unlike Broly, and like that kind of stuff, and like, I think you had to do like really specific things if you wanted to unlock like sort of the entire Dragon Ball GT storyline that gives you Omega Shenron and uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which is very cool. I mean, back in the day there was no Super, so that was always exciting. Anyways, there we go, oh wow, 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 dude, you're a jerk. 
I'm gonna blast you with my mouth. Ready? Mouth blast, here it comes! I have bad breath, I had tacos for breakfast, which is not a good choice for breakfast. It's not very nutritious compared to other things. I love Captain Ginyu's pose there. I need to win around as Captain Ginyu to see what his victory pose is then, because that looks hilarious. Okay, well, the enemy warrior arc is going pretty well so far. We're beating up enemies left and right, we're leveling up, and Kid Boo is in town. It'd be very nice if we could unlock Kid Boo. I'd have to imagine that we would be able to. Well, let's give this a shot. Level 29, partial drain level two. Wait, wait, I should have applied the level up experience thing. That would have been helpful. Oh well, I tried. Well, I didn't really try. <laughs> I failed to try, that was the whole thing. Oh, but I, it's not a big deal because we'll have more chances to earn experience. Clone Kid Boo gives a ton of experience anyways, especially since he is so much of a higher level, but uh, since he's at the three on one, the chances are pretty high. It would be fun if they had a cutscene with him, but maybe if we unlock Kid Boo, he'll have a cutscene with Kid Boo. That'd be pretty fun. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be focusing on beating him up as much as I possibly can um, with whatever character I can. I mean, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Don't de defeat Captain Ginyu, because this is the guy I was gonna beat you with so that I could get the cool Ow, ow, stop. Yeah, beat up Nappa instead. Okay, well, I might just have to take him out. Ow, jeez Louise, he just doesn't stop. It's like the game really likes to remind me I'm not good at this game at all. Ow, ow, stop. Punch him, punch him, punch him. Oh, I missed. No, that's bad, real bad. Okay, you know what, Freeze to come back in. Oh wait, that's Captain Ginyu. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Ginyu Force, Ginyu Force, help me. Wait, oh, maybe I can do it. Maybe I can do it. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I did it just barely. That was ridiculous. Man, I should have used Sparking Blaster at some point. 15,000 experience, partial train level two. Very fantastic stuff there. We got two, no, three level ups. Everybody is level 19. Everybody is pretty close to level, level ups, which is pretty cool. And Captain Ginyu had that fancy little pose. I love it. Okay, so that one was really tough. Everybody's hurting a little bit from that one, but we're gonna go ahead and do the edit team. We're gonna go to player skills and get this victory experience level up to be level two instead. There we go. And um, our other thing is victory health level up. We don't have a level two for that yet, but I hope we do soon. I didn't mean to unequip it. I'm a dingus. Victory health level up, because I, I definitely wanna be able to get health after a win as much as I can. We're going to our last battle before the boss. It is, of course, going against Yamcha, Tien, and Piccolo. Hopefully we can handle it. Maybe there'll be something between like Freeze and Piccolo. Nope, nothing. I feel like they probably won't have as many cutscenes for the bad guys as they will the good guys, but hey, maybe I'm wrong. Because I really can't remember Nappa's voice actor, right, or Captain Ginyu's. Are they the same voice actor as they were however many years ago when the original English dub was chosen for these characters that haven't been a part of the story since, you know? Like, I know that Frieza's voice is still Frieza's voice from all those years ago. And same thing with like Goku and all the mainline characters that, you know, have been actively voicing the characters for, you know, pretty consistent amount of time now. But stuff like Nappa and Captain Ginyu, like Nappa hasn't been a part of the series since he died, you know? So like, do they, does his voice actor still around? Like, uh, or is it like a different voice actor and I just don't remember well enough? Because that could totally end up happening and I wouldn't even know. Anyways, we're just gonna blast you like that and then kick it. That's gonna be a distracted finish for you. Very good. Okay, so I don't have to focus on ending with any kind of specific character here. I'm just gonna focus on, you know, just ending as well as I can. So if things get a little nasty, I'm gonna go ahead and sparking blast and try to deal with everybody. Oh, here we go. Wait, wait, why, why didn't that work? That was weird. I guess maybe you have to hit them first. Oh, ow, 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 ow. You know what? Let's get Freeze out. Freeze it. No, that's Captain Ginyan. I always get it mixed up. Why? Guldo. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, really? You're more merciful than you appear? I'm going to disagree with that one. Wow, we comboed him all the way down. That was crazy. Okay, so now it's just us and Piccolo. Let's go ahead and try to get Golden Frieza, or nope, wrong one. That's fine, that still does a ton of damage. Come on, come on, come on. Ready? That's also not it. Why do I always forget it? Here it is, here it is, here it is, ready? Oh, here we go. All right, I think it's actually the same button combo as Supernova, but it's um just so you have more energy, right? Nova Strike, Golden Frieza. Oh, I guess it's R2 and R1. Sometimes, you know, like some of these moves are R2, or R1 or R2, it doesn't really matter. Okay, there we go. I think we do more damage as Golden Freeze on, I I'm going to assume it's sort of like a, a hidden potential, not hidden potential, but a, 
What is it called? Mystic Gohan. Or any kind of upgrade like that. Like, I don't know how uh, Super Saiyan Blue works in this, if that is uh, an upgrade for like Goku, where he can actually just go to Super Saiyan Blue and with Vegeta, or if they're entirely separate characters. That'd be weird if they are. So I guess we'll find out at some point or another. But now we're gonna be going, going against Cell. The reward is a defense up level two, so we do not unlock Cell here. But actually, we are just about out of time for today's episode. We will be tackling Cell and accidentally pressing the PlayStation Home button in the next episode of Dragon Ball Fighters. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Ginyu Zebra so now you've watched at the end and that you are a Zebratastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.